I bought the cheapest Porsche in the world and I'm gonna build and modify it in the road trip across America. A mega shout out to Quadlock for sponsoring today's video, but more on that later. You guys remember my last off-road build, right? This thing was an absolute unit. I sold my Raptor because honestly, it was an expensive daily. I was about 60,000 into that truck and my ROF on it wasn't at an acceptable level. So I sold it. It's done. But I missed having an off-road build. So here's my first Porsche and here's why the Cayenne is taking over the world. Naturally, first impressions driving the Cayenne, we are in an absolute white out. But this thing absolutely mobs through the snow, handles it no problem whatsoever. The only problem right now is visibility. I can't see further than like maybe 30, 40 feet. So a few things to note here. I did already upgrade the steering wheel. The steering wheel that comes factory on this car is one of the ugliest steering wheels by far that Porsche has ever made and put on any vehicle. It looks like an upside down slice of pizza, not in the good way. Pepperonis. I got a nice little spice to it, just like your sister does. I'm honestly just super glad that I ended up buying this. I needed a winter daily so bad. Because I can't imagine driving the GTR, the RX-7, or the Corvette in this weather. It's just not happening. This thing is so insanely gangster, and it looks so sick out here in the snow. Now, you might be thinking, Stefan, that's not a normal Cayenne. And guys, start all the heck, you'd be right. This thing's rocking a four inch lift. It's on 35 inch tires, 18s. It's got, of course, the massive Porsche brakes back there. One of the few V8s that Porsche ever made. It's a 4.8 liter, making just under 400 horsepower. And it sounds wild. Call it Porsche's fault, call it my fault, but we already got three check engine lights on the dashboard. Dude, we're, we're gonna figure it out. We're figuring this out as we go. Ooh, pretty lights. But honestly, I mean, just, just listen to that thing, dude. Like what? Oh, no shot it sounds like that, dude. <laughs> That's great donuts. You know, love the cold or hate the cold. Can't argue that donuts aren't sick. This is what $13,000 gets you. This is what $60,000 plus gets you. The Cayenne has long been written off as a grocery getting kid hauling, honking at you in the line at Starbucks kind of vehicle for only the upper class. And well, it turns out if you buy one that was made 15 years ago, all of a sudden it's affordable. And somehow, some way, these are insane off-roaders. People are absolutely mobbing up Hell's Gate in these freaking mommy mobiles and the aftermarket industry is absolutely exploding for them. The used Cayenne is quickly becoming a crowd favorite because of its low barrier to entry and insane dollar for dollar performance on and off the road. So this is a new series called Beater and the Beast. We're gonna see how a more budget built vehicle stacks up against the Beast on and off the pavement. Starting off with suspension, we've got a four inch body lift on this guy. The suspension is absolutely completely factory, which depending on who you're talking to could be a good thing and a bad thing. It retains a lot of the OEM functionality, but you're gonna lose some performance off-road, where comparatively on the Jeep, you get a full King suspension setup with external reservoirs, upwards of $10,000 for this setup. Wheels and tires, the crowd favorite goes to the Gladiator on 37s. There are few things this machine can't conquer, whereas the Cayenne is sitting on a set of 35s. So obviously the Gladiator has a lot of advantages, particularly in how it's modified. The Cayenne, is, is, she's still kind of lacking. So the goal of the Cayenne is to build it to match or exceed the capabilities of some of the giants in the industry. I feel like my choice in footwear greatly reflects my choice in cars. Grossly unprepared. This is more set up like a normal Jeep or like a truck with a true four wheel drive system, where by default it's rear wheel drive and then you have your options right here to select four high or four low gearing. But that in contrast to the Cayenne, which is more of a normal like road car all-wheel drive system where it's full-time all-wheel drive but it has a center locking diff and the other thing with this gladiator in particular it's an eco diesel meaning it's boosted and you get actually kind of insane gas mileage plus this thing just feels so gangster rolling down the road and it's kind of it's like weirdly fast <laughs> also you may or may not have already known this but the key for all porsches 
is on the left hand side. At first I thought this was cool, now I think it's insanely annoying. Of course the Jeep is better spec'd out. It's a newer vehicle, full Apple CarPlay, and all the creature comforts that you expect from that caliber of vehicle. But for 13 Gs, the Porsche isn't bad. It comes factory, dual zone climate control, heated seats, it comes factory installed with check engine lights ready to go. But Dad, that light says check engine. Uh oh, tape must have fallen off. One of the best things about having the Porsche is that you can just dip off onto an off-road trail anytime you see one. And what's so legit is whether I'm off the road or on the road down there, I never have to worry about whether my phone is gonna stay put. So mega shout out to Quadlock for building the most rugged mounts and cases on the market. If you want something ultra secure, you can run their classic mount, or if you're like me and you want convenience and stability, you can run their new Mag series. I just stuck this right onto my dash. It's wired here, so it supports wireless charging anytime I slap my phone on there. Even off-road, this thing is vibration free and most importantly it keeps your hands and your attention on the road in front of you and this is my favorite part they have a 30-day money-back guarantee meaning if you don't love it you don't have to keep it you have the full 30 days to try it risk-free and if you don't like it you can ask for a full refund no questions asked and if you go right now you can still catch 10% off with code Stefan support those who support us mega shout out to Quadlock for sponsoring today's video now back to the Porsche. Let's look at the facts. A successful off-road checks off some, if not all of the following boxes. Drivetrain, does it make enough power? Does it have four-wheel drive, low-range gearing, factory lockers? How about clearance, underbody, approach and departure angles? And its overall size and wheelbase, and perhaps most importantly, aftermarket support. How many manufacturers are actively supporting the platform, building new things for it to make it faster, more capable? Is there sufficient information on forums, Facebook groups, YouTube videos? Also, it doesn't hurt if it's cheap too. I picked mine up for $13,000. But perhaps the most important aspect of the build, uniqueness. Think about a Wrangler, a Tacoma, a Forerunner, Jeeps, Raptors, the TRX. No doubt they're cool and info and parts are plentiful, but are they played out? Right now, you can go to a dealer and drive off the lot with some of the most advanced off-road technology money can buy. I guarantee right now, you know at least three people that have a Wrangler or a Tacoma, a 4Runner, and with good reason, I'm not bashing on them because they are some of the most capable vehicles, some of the most reliable vehicles, and consequently, some of the best-selling vehicles across the world. You buy a Raptor, nobody bats an eye. You lift the Porsche four inches off the ground, put it on 35s, and everyone loses their minds. So leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys wanna see these two compete against each other and some of the other vehicles that you wanna see the Cayenne compete against. But as usual, if you made it this far, in the video you're a real one thank you so much for watching if you liked it please be sure to give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and the bell and on that note see you guys in the next video